What's up, guys? We're back looking at some more NFL player props today over on Prize Picks. We had a really good day yesterday. We went four and two, solid profit, looking to continue cashing in today's video. I think we should have a pretty good game today between Philly and Atlanta when it comes to these player props. So let's hop in and hopefully just stay cashing with some winners. Before we do so, though, and get into these free plays, don't miss out in joining the Dub Club. You join now literally for free. There's a two-day free trial down in my description. You guys can go ahead and join and just get all my plays sent straight to you. I'm over $5,000 of profit over on Prize Picks. I'm up over $1,300 of profit over on Sleeper, and I'm also profitable on Chalkboard, Underdog, and Sportsbooks. If you want to join, two days for free is available down in my description, or if you've already used the free trial, if you just want to join right now, 50% off your first month is available also down in my description. So only $15 for first month or two days for free, which you can cancel at any time. We've had a great start to our NFL season. I believe we profited on both of the week slate so far, week one, week two. At least assuming that today goes well for week two, at least. But four and two day yesterday, looking to stay cashing. And one final thing before we get into these free plays is if you want to research player props for yourself, I cannot recommend this tool enough. It's called Outlier. I personally use this tool every single day to research player props for myself, whether that's the NFL, uh, the NBA when it comes back, the MLB. I personally use Outlier. You can get it for yourself seven days for free down in my description. I'll be using this tool in this video. So if you like what you see, go ahead and get it for yourself. Download the app off the app store. Use my promo link down in my description. And now with all that out of the way, let's get to these free plays that you've been waiting for. Just play responsibly natural on risk. Leave a like on the video and subscribe. I really would appreciate it. The most important thing though is having those post notifications turned on so that you don't want to choose your uploads and you can get in before something's eyes move, get bumped, things like that. Let's get into these plays here. The first player prop that I like for today's slate, we're going to head over to the receiving yards category. So if we can find the receiving yards here and then we're going to scroll down until we find running back B. John Robinson over 31 and a half receiving yards here. He had a great start to his season in terms of receiving yards with 43 against Pittsburgh last week. I think he can have 32 plus yet again this week. Let's take a look at why. So Bijan here, we're going to take a look at here with outliers. It's a little bit different though. It's kind of a little bit skewed because last year he was only over in 41% of games, although they had a completely different offensive scheme and everything like that. They have a brand new coach this year uh, and he did a pretty good start. You know, he had 43 receiving yards on five targets with five catches. Kirk Cousins also kind of likes to dump it off to the running back once in a while, so I do kind of like that aspect there. I think we also could be in for even more targets for Bijan Robinson, considering they only had 28 passing plays last game. Kirk Cousins only had 26 pass attempts. His line today is about 33 and a half. So they're projecting for about 33. It's slightly favored under. So uh, there should be more potential targets today for B. John Robinson. I think he's going to have probably about five catches. But his reception line today is four and a half. It is slightly favored on the under. I would not doubt if he had five in this one. But last season, when he actually had four plus catches, he was over this in eight out of 12 games. At least that's these two seasons combined. So in his last 12 games, where he's had three, when he's had four plus catches, he has 32 or more receiving yards here. And he actually has fallen on the hook twice, a uh, hook for a win, actually, uh, twice with 32 receiving yards against Jacksonville and then against New Orleans Saints. So I really like the sign at 31 and a half. I think we could be in for some more passing plays this time around for the Falcons. He already covered this one last week. He had five targets. I like that Kirk Cousins kind of dumps off to his running back once in a while, and it also should be a pretty nice matchup. Last season, Philly, they allowed about the fourth most uh, receiving yards per game. So should be a really nice matchup here. Give me the over here for B. John Robinson and his passing yards. And also something positive about this one is going to be the game script potentially because the Falcons are five and a half point underdogs, which also typically means more pass attempts, more passing plays for the Falcons. Now, before we get into my next pick, a lot of people don't know that DraftKings actually has their own DFS pick em app. They have DraftKings pick six. I personally really, really like this app. They have a ton of really, really nice plays on the board that you don't really see a lot from other apps out there. You join DraftKings Pick 6 for yourself down in my description. Use promo code DOMG. All you have to do is play $5 to get $50 instantly in DraftKings Pick 6 credits. You also get one month of NFL Plus Premium on them. So some really, really nice offers right now from DraftKings Pick 6. Like I said, I really like the app. I like a lot of the different uh, prices they have on some of these guys. So if you want it for yourself, down in my description, use promo code DMG for DraftKings pick six. A lot of really nice offers going on right now for them. All right, now let's get into my next pick here. It's going to be again over in the receiving yards category. This time, though, we are going with a Philadelphia Eagle, brand new Eagle, Jahan Dodson, over 28 and a half receiving yards here. I personally love him a lot as a player. I think the talent's there. I was kind of shocked that the commanders traded him, and I think this should be a really nice spot here for the over. If you don't already know, A.J. Brown is going to be out in today's game. That means Jahan Dodson should be next up here. He had really, really good route participation last week. It was only his first game with the Eagles. He had 59% route participation. He did only play 42% of the snaps, though, with only one target. But, of course, he's going to be next man, he's going to be next man up here because he was a wide receiver three in terms of snap percentage, route participation, everything like that. He's going to be next up. They need a guy to throw the ball. And 29 yards is a really, really 
nice price in my opinion. I mean, you know, I don't know who else the herd's going to throw the ball to. I mean, he's got Devonta Smith who might go for 200 yards today, or you have Dallas Goddard. Of course, you do have Barkley in the receiving game a little bit as well, but John Doss, I think, is in a really, really nice spot here. There's not a whole lot to go off of here. If you take a look at his uh, games from last year with Washington, uh, you can see he was over in seven out of 17 games last season, so he did stay healthy the entire year. But obviously, his season was extremely inconsistent. Uh, when he did, though, have two or more catches last year, he was over in seven out of 13 games, which is pretty solid. We're expecting that kind of today. Uh, his reception line here is at two and a half, uh, kind of the same price on the over and on the under there. But like I said, he, he was pretty good in games where he had at least two catches last season because there were a few games where he didn't have any catches whatsoever. I'd be shocked if that happened today. And the Eagles do have that big play potential here. I like Jahan Dotson and his over here. Uh, last season, though, it uh, wasn't a super great matchup against Atlanta, I'd say. I mean, they ranked seventh in receiving guards allowed uh, to receivers. They were in tougher at five. Uh, but I think Hurts should be able to give him the ball here. Uh, I think Hurts going to have a little bit of a bounce back game, but it wasn't super great last game. Uh, if you take a look here at Jalen Hurts here and what his uh, passing yards line is today, uh, his passing yard line, if you look at it, is 229.5. I don't really know who's, who's going to get all those yards, hey man. If it's not going to be Dallas Goddard or Devonta Smith, there's going to be some Barkley as well, but he's going to spread the ball around. John Dotson should be able to have a couple catches. I think 29 yards is just a really, really low number for him to clear, even in the second start with the Philadelphia Eagles. I'm not done with the free plays quite yet, but one last reminder to join the Dub Club. Don't miss out. Two-day free trials available down on my description, which you can cancel at any time. Also, if you just want to join right now, 50% off of your first month. My best package includes Discord chat, all my plays in the MLB, the NFL, whatever else I'm rocking with, it's available down in my description. Don't miss out on those two offers there. And if you like the tool that I use in today's video, it's called Outlier. Like I said earlier, get it for yourself. Seven-day free trial is available down in my description for Outlier. I personally use this tool every single day to research player props in the NFL, the MLB, or whatever other sport I'm rocking with. I personally use Outlier. But now let's get some more free plays today from the Daily Grind tool. This right here is going to be the Prize Picks Optimizer. It's just some of the best bet to value plays in apps like Prize Picks or Underdogs. So right now on Prize Picks, they have some MLB value on the board. They like Bijan and Barkley under receiving and rushing yards, actually. Uh, we click on the, re on the uh, refresh button, post the most up to date value plays onto the board. So now you can see they like Shota under fancy score. They like uh, Seth Lugo under fancy score. There's also some like CSGO value. We don't have to do any research at all. And we just found a ton of different value on the price picks board without doing any research. So if you want this tool for yourself, you can use the link down in my description for the daily grind tools. Click on the fancy bundle and then scroll down. Promo code DMG can get you 25% off. There's also another tool load, so separately from the same guys, this one's called the AS of Drainer. It's up over 1,700 units since August 18th. Crazy, crazy good results since August 18th of last year, by the way. Uh, but you can see here what they like right now on prize picks. We'll take a look at one free play here. It's a six-pick flex over on prize. We can see all the different value that they like right now on the board as a profit margin of 2.71% and, of course, a score of 17.51. And it is a six-pick flex, like I said, on prize picks. Hopefully, this one ends up cashing. So if that's what interests you, though, which honestly, it kind of should. I mean, it's up over 1,700 units. Uh, since last year. It's a really insane tool. I personally love it. Get it for yourself. AS Generator, and then scroll down. Promo code DMG will get you 25% off. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Best of luck. And if you want to say you made over $5,000 on prize picks, you can watch this video right here.